Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs, the channel that's all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly. I have been selling print-on-demand on platforms such as Etsy, Merch by Amazon, Amazon Seller Central, and Redbubble um, for a couple of years now. And I'd like to kind of share not only things about design, but also about some of the platforms and, and print-on-demand as a whole. So if this is something that you're interested in, uh, please hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications and stick around for some great videos. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be going over how to make this design right here. It says summer and it's got some nice bright colors and a silhouette of a surfer in front of it. Now, I don't know the official name for this technique. I kind of call it a sunset wording because what we're going to do is make it look like each of these letters has been being pulled down to create a uh, this cool kind of backdrop for the surfer. And once you learn this technique, it's pretty easy. It just takes a little bit of time to line everything up. It's a great technique to use on just all sorts of designs. So if this is something that you're interested in, go ahead and stick around. So as always, we're starting with our blank background. It is uh, 4,500 by 5,400. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with a black backdrop. So I'm gonna come up in the corner and we're just gonna select black. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make some kind of sunset text. So to do this, we're just gonna start with a word up top and I'm gonna pick summer since summer is coming up and so we can use some really fun, bright colors for this. So I'm gonna hit a text box. So I'll just hit T. I'm gonna type in summer and I'm gonna do it in all caps. There we go. And now we are gonna pick a font. Now for this, we want the font to be kind of blocky. We want it to have as square of edges as we can and kind of be sort of a thick, um, thick blocky type of font. So I'm gonna come up here to font and there's a lot of different ways I can search for this, but I know which one I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I've got my narrow fonts here that I can work with. And I am looking for a particular one that I know works good for this, um, for this technique. And it is, it's Norwester if I can find it. Actually, that one's not too bad there. Ooh. You know what, I think I'm gonna use this one. This one. Not what I was originally gonna use, but it looks like it's gonna work really well. So this is AC Compacta. And what you'll notice here is that the bottom of the letters is a little bit more squared off. It's not as round. And we're gonna need that to create this kind of sunset design. So I'm gonna bring my summer text right up here and put it exactly where I want it. And once I have it exactly how I want it, we're gonna start doing some rectangles. So if you hit R on your keyboard, it is going to pull up a rectangle. And so now we can just drag these edges in to make this rectangle as long or as short or whatever. Um, and you'll see, I'm gonna bring it right up to the S and I'm going to bring the sides in so that it is about the right width and I can also bring the bottom up. I'm gonna make it about yay long. And so if you see how we're gonna do this, it's not an exact match right now. You gotta do a little fine tuning with your arrow keys to try to line it up as best you can. Let me get it as high up on the letter as I can without cutting off the bottom part of the S. And also, it does take a little bit of fine tuning, which I can zoom in and do a little bit more later. But once I get a good rectangle, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that one. So if I hit Control D, it is going to duplicate that. And I'm gonna bring it right over to the next letter here, okay? And again, I'll have to do a little fine tuning, but this is what we're starting with. I'm gonna hit another. Control D for duplicate. 
And now you'll notice for the summers, it's going to have to be a lot narrower. But that's okay. I'm going to bring that in so that it's really narrow. Bring it over. Now, one of the things you can do with some of these letters is if I wanted to, I could actually bring this all the way up to the very top of the M. And then that makes it look a lot smoother. So now I can do this again. I can hit Control D. I'm going to do it one more time over here. Again, bring it all the way over to the very edge. A little bit more. So it looks perfect. I am going to do the, the middle of the M2, but for right now, because I've got one more M, I'm just going to do the same thing here. Duplicate, Control D. I'm going to do one more here to duplicate. Bring that one in just a little. Definitely a little fine tuning. Bring. So I'm just using the arrow keys on my keyboard. By using the arrow keys, I can literally move these rectangles over one pixel at a time to do the best I can at trying to line them up. And it's looking pretty good. Okay. So those are looking pretty good there. I can hit duplicate again. Let's see if it's the same width for the E. That looks like it is. Looks like I can do the same thing there for the E. Control D, possibly for this part of the R. Not quite. So the R looks like it's a little bit wider. Yeah, it is. So we're going to have to make this just a little bit, a little bit wider for the R. Oop. Let's see. Mm, that's pretty close. Close enough. Bring that one down a little bit. Close enough. I'm going to do this one more time. Control D for this part of the R. Obviously, I'm going to have to make it shorter. And it's going to come in just a little bit. And that looks pretty good. So now we're going to do the inside of the M's, and those are going to be pretty thin lines. So I'm going to Control D. it a little bit because it's so narrow. It's going to need to be a little bit wider, definitely shorter. Definitely a little shorter and a little wider. Pretty close there. I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that one. I'm going to do it one more time. Control D. Now that I have a good width, I'm going to bring it back over here. Looks pretty good. And actually, for this E, I realize we're going to actually want to bring this down to right about there because I want to come out to right about that wide. And then I can bring it up like that a little bit wider pretty close so you can kind of see the way that this is looking already now if I wanted to zoom in on it so if I come down here and zoom in then I can come up and at this point 
if I wanted to come down here, I could fine tune it a little bit more. It's going to make me make a little bit finer adjustments from down here. Bring that all the way up. And I can do the same thing and just really fine tune it if I want to. That looks pretty good. This M here. Pretty close for all of these. I'm going to come back down. Okay. And then if I want them all to kind of uh, have a nice even bottom, I can also just go ahead and click the bottom here and make sure that they're all lined up at the bottom to be the same length. There we go. Perfect. Cool. So now we have our really cool sunset text. So now all we have to do is select some colors. So I can go with some bright colors. For example, I'm going to start, let's start with a nice bright blue, something like that. We'll just pick our colors for the letters first. So now that I have blue, I'm going to Let's go into the greener range. So I'm just going to start dragging it over like that. Next letter. <laughs> this I might need to actually do the lines first because they're on top. So for the next letter, I'm going to hit the green. I'm going to slide this over some more. We'll make it more of a yellowy green. Something like that. Come with the next one. I'm just selecting my colors for now. Slide this over. Nice kind of yellowish color is going to look good. And then my E. Bring that over a little bit more. And lastly, I'm going to take this. We're going to shoot for kind of a reddish color here. So something like that. Once I've kind of picked my colors, then all I have to do is finish matching. So rectangle here, make it that color. And so this part should go pretty quick. I might need to, for this, just take the summer and I can bring it forward. I'm going to bring it back next, but by bringing it to the front, oops, bring to front. By bringing it to the front, I can select these M's a little bit easier. So I'm going to make this one green color. And I'm going to make this one yellow color. And I'm going to select this, I'm going to make this one the green color, make this the yellow color, and whoop, yellow color, oh, I lost, I lost my, that one, there we go, yellow, orange, almost done here. Red, last one red, perfect. And so it looks really good. Right now I have the text on top of the lines. I can send the text to the back. I don't think it made that much of a difference. There you go. So it says summer, I like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like a silhouette in front of here. So. You know, what says summer? Maybe surfing. So let's look for a surfer. And so there's a lot of cool surfing silhouettes. I can sort by graphics. And I can just take this very first one that I see. It looks good. And I'm going to resize it. And reposition it. So something like that. And now I have a really cool kind of summer sunset 
design. And so that is how you would uh, kind of create that, uh, that sunset kind of lettering. Um, pretty easy, it just takes a little bit of time to line everything up, but other than that, it's a really simple concept and you can use it for a lot of different uh, things. So if you liked this video and you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and make sure you hit subscribe. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.